Hello guys, how are we doing? Welcome back to the Three Hammers. It's Luke here, and finally we got a win yesterday. Sorry for the late review. Really didn't have any time at all. Was doing a lot of painting after the game yesterday, so literally got a few minutes now just to get on here and uh, talk about yesterday's game. Listen, it wasn't pretty, and I'm not going to sit here and try and say that it was the best performance I've ever seen in my life. Defensively, resolute, yes. Um, the two boys at the back, Zuma and um, Oggy, were fantastic. Obviously, there were some changes. Um, Cresswell coming at left back, Sufau at right back, Oggy in for a good. Um, Ings and Antonio were up top as a two for the start of the game. Um, Suchek and Rice in the middle. Fornells was in there also as well. Um, we didn't play well. I, I cannot say we played well at all, apart from defensively. Um, the goal did come. It was an own goal. Uh, Sufal bombed down the right-hand side. He played the ball into Bowen. Bowen forced his way into the box, crossed it in, um, and then the midfielder put it in to his own goal. One new up, fantastic. You know, took the pressure off a little bit for a while, at least. Um, but then it just... We're, we're lucky that they're not Arsenal, or they're not a team that's just got someone who's potent up front, really. Um... We did have another couple of chances. Ings had one where he was through. Maybe should have dinked it. Didn't quite happen for him. Um, they had a couple of good chances. The big chance um, fell when Vinicius played. I cannot remember who he played through. Um, he just went to go around Fabianski. And it was, to be fair to Fabianski, it was a fantastic save. Um, the way he just palmed it away from his toe. Um, you know, big, big save, big, big moment. Um, Zuma had some really big headers in there, Oggy as well, um, defensive-wise, um, which was good. There was, back to our goal just quickly on Matty Ladao. I didn't actually see it when I was watching it live. Um, there was a handball in there from Sufal, but listen, we deserve some luck, um, and that little bit of luck might just get us over the line now. Um, yeah. Apart from that, oh, Cornet, Cornet, right near the end, did have a really good chance as well. Should have put that away. Um, my God, if we would have conceded after that, I was so late in the game to make it 1-1, you really would have started to believe that, you know, our, our days are numbered. But we didn't. It looked like luck was with us, even though we didn't play well. Listen, we've got to play better than that um, to maybe just get us over our line. I know I keep saying about it, it's not about performances, and it really isn't. Um, but you do have to have some form of attack um, to get you out of it when you know you are defending quite well, but you're not going to be able to do that against an Arsenal, a Liverpool in a couple of weeks, Man City. Listen, I'm not I'm not saying we're going to get anything from them, but if we get too heavily defeated, then the games against Bournemouth, the games against Leicester, Leeds, right late in the season, when we may need to offer something more potent up front. We're gonna to have to need we're gonna need something. We do need something. Danny Ings looked like he did add a little twinge on his knee, but he did go through, you know, he did play a little bit longer than what I thought he was going to, so hopefully he's okay. But yeah, defensively, okay, like I said, okay. But like I said, an absolute dross of football here. apart from that. Rice was doing all he could. Um yeah. And there was loads of stuff about, you know, now Moyes not going over and clapping. They were singing Moyes out, and I would have been as well if I was there. Um, it, it's become sort of very toxic with Moyes and the fans now, which is, you know, inevitable, really, because of the way it's going and the way we're playing. Um, it, it feels very Allardyce-y uh, towards the end of Allardyce when Allardyce was doing all this. He's not... Exactly doing that, but in a matter of ways he is, which is, um, yeah, listen up. One thing I will just end on this video, if David Moyes is still there in the summer, you know, he keeps us up, maybe even wins that Europa Conference League, I don't know how much more I can do watching this terrible football. Like, you try selling the season tickets next year to... Uh, obviously, you know, there is a massive law fan base that will watch West Ham, whatever, thick and thinner. And we all will. When I sit here going, oh, yeah, I don't know how much I can do it. I'll watch every week still, even if David Moyes is there. But it's just, if he is there, it just shows a whole lack of ambition and a lack of ideas and a lack of wanting to do better things at West Ham. David Moyes is done 
now he's done this. He, it, it needs to be a new manager comes in, Declan Rice, he's sold or whatever. Um, and, you know, a new manager's just given a whole new opportunity to completely revamp that team and give it some new energy. But, yeah, he ain't going nowhere to the end of the season. Um, I'm behind the boys and I'm behind West Ham as my club. But in terms of Moyes, I'm not cheering Moyes on for that result. It's not some masterclass of a performance, some masterclass of a result. Will he get enough to get us over the line? Possibly now. Possibly. We've gone out to 10-1 to 1 to get relegated now, which is quite high odds. Um, probably six points will be enough. Um, you know, hoping we can pull off a little freak result, like a freak draw against Liverpool or something like that. And then a couple of wins here and there. Palace, Bournemouth, you look at. Bournemouth look good, though. That Bournemouth game is going to be a tough game. Still going to be a little bit of a roller coaster for another few weeks. Um, but yeah, let's wait and see. Let's wait and see. Anyway, guys, sorry for the late review. Until next time, come on, you irons. Keep believing. Genk in the week. And then big game, Arsenal next Sunday. Let's go.